it's raining real hard. And we were going to attempt to fly this up today. I just got here and I'm not exactly sure what the plans are. But I do know that our forms are collecting water. And that's not good for them. Alright, so we are... Well, first, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a rainy day. Uh, we got this whole wall built out. Uh, we are going yeah. to attempt to fly it, which basically just means stand it up. It's raining, which is unfortunate, but it's supposed to calm down here in a minute. All right, so we have D-rings that are going through. These holes. Oh, what? Well, that wall over there is going to be flush up against. Oh, wait, no, we'll, we'll have the space. But for the other one, when we fly it, yeah. we can't put a D-ring on the on the side of the wall because that's going to be up against the, the wall oh, of perseverance. Oh, you're right. Can we do it one in? Yes. I mean... On the center strut? To. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Let's get sketchy. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing we're going to try first is just to see if it works. Oh, and you're doing it on the forks, not yes. around the... Yeah, because we have no way of unhooking it from this. It'll be 25 feet in the air. We have no way to get up there. This is really just... We're just going to test to see if this will even work. Okay. Lift or buckle. Huh. Lift or buckle. Yeah. Let's uh, hope and pray right yeah. now. So what we realize that we need to take that beam off first, but now we know it's lifting okay. Um, I think we're gonna pull that beam and kind of set it in place. The problem is it's raining and we can't run a chalk line to see exactly where it needs to be. That's accurate. Yeah. So we can, we can do a we pencil, can do a pencil line. line. Oh, you know what? We actually know where our line is on this side. Is that the... Yep. That's the edge of the wall? Yep. Okay. So theoretically a 90 degree angle from that. Yeah, we can't trust this to be square. <laughs> I said theoretically. What we can do is pull tape from over there. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what we can do. We'll set this corner down, lock it in, Pull tape from over there, hold it there. Okay. Bada bing, Betty Boop. You don't think you want to at least put a pencil line where it should be before we get the whole thing upright? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You want to be precise about it? Yes, I would like to be precise about a wall that will be here for a thousand years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, do we want to fly this? It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. think we want it to sit wet no. for that long. That's the issue. Yeah. And I think if we get the easy up over here, we'll, we'll just get our tools and it won't go, yeah. it, won't, it won't be that fast. We've already got one of our big turnbuckles yeah. made. This one we can probably use for the second. Yeah. And I think that'll be fine. I think you're right. Well, and we can pull one from here to that corner over there. Okay. Um, and really those are just all those are doing is keeping it from going anywhere. Yeah. In the event of wind. I don't yeah. think it's going to be windy, but... Well, it, because it's going to be essentially freestanding at the moment... Yeah, yeah. as many turn buckles as we can get on it. Right. Well, and on that wall, we can actually go directly into the rammed earth. And then yeah. on the wood one, we could go directly into the wood. Yeah. And then lower, we can have 
Uh, turnbuckles. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, let's grab the easy up and um. Coda, what are you eating? Don't eat wood with nails in it. Like oh. I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you that. Cool. Um, All right. Is that right? 36 across? Interior dimensions 36, yes. Yeah. That does sound right. Perfect. Okay. That's probably good right there. All right. Here we go. Is that really how close we are to the rebar? Yeah. Okay. I think. I mean, well, and that, that one's less of a precise one. Yeah, that's fine. I would go off of this one more. Everybody, eyes up. Paying attention. Yep. Going slow. If you see something, shout. If I hear you shout, I'm going to pause. I brought some longer screws. So yeah, we'll start with this corner, which is perfect. You can tell I'm gonna go get the hammer drill. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, double check, make sure we're good on that side. I think we are, but... Over our line on the concrete. The you mean the you mean the center line? So we're a little bit over on that This line. one was not exact. Okay. Yeah. This, this one this one was guess. Right there. You can see the crack. Are we good? Yes, that's perfect. All right, ready? So once all those are in, we're going to put the turnbuckles on. Literally as soon as it kisses. That's it. It needs to be at its longest point because we need to make it shorter. Okay. That's in. Once that is in, it will be a little bit safer. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that right now. Right. Yeah. Here. Yeah, you can do it right there. Okay. Tap on. All right. I'm not saying it's safe now, but it's safer. 
that. The entire wall isn't quite so wibbly wobbly? Not quite so wibbly wobbly. It's so weird. I know. It feels the opposite of the way that it should go. That's probably good. I can make that work. Okay. We have one turnbuckle in. We're going to do a second large turnbuckle, and then I think we can detach. I think. And we're also screwed in right there and up above with a little bracket. Yeah. And if we can move these as a unit, this is going to make form work so much better. Yeah. Treat yo. Um, do we actually want to put a level on it? What? Honey, please. We should put a level on it, TJ. <laughs> I don't want to go back over there since the portals are parking. That's true. Looks pretty level. That will do, folks. This is quite a uh, quite this a wall. Is, this is quite a wall. Should I throw this? Uh huh. Nice catch. Nice. Oh, that's just gorgeous. It literally is perfect. Sweet. I'm gonna dump the uh, yep. forks. Yep. You scared? A little, yeah. That's a big form. Yeah. I, I think we can pull the forks out. All right. Well, better pattern. So we uh, pulled the telehandler out in a way, and now it's time for the wobble test. Let's see. Don't stand in front of it. Oh, whoa. It feels like a solid wall. Holy moly. Yeah. Like that feels like a solid wall. Hey, hey. Woo. Okay, just for some perspective here, Oh yeah. This, well, this this is a fisheye lens. This is eight feet. That's another eight feet. That's another eight feet. This is as tall. This is about as tall as a three-story building. Almost. <laughs> That's Coda's tail hitting the tripod. Coda bear! <laughs> Sit. Look at me. Jump. <laughs> yes. Give me. Give me a we, one of the reasons we did it this way is because instead of standing them up and then trying to like make these line up so there's no seam here or no lip here, what we did is we just laid it flat on the concrete and screwed through while it was, while it was completely laid flat. So we attached all of the pieces as one big unit and it made it so there's very little lip here, if any. And the lips that there are, are because of the variation in the boards, not right. because of the form behind yep. it. I think we're uh, about ready to call it good for the day. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining our adventure. Thank you.